guys. Alright, new season, new team. We're going to be taking over the Cincinnati Bengals. Get them back on track. Let's go take a look at our team so far. So we picked up, I think, four or five players? Just kind of scan, skim through it. Joe Burrow, obviously going to lead the charge on offense. Uh, Joe Mixon as well, both Joes. Fitz. I think we actually move, might move our rookie to number one. No. No, we're going to keep him. Hmm. You know what? I'll keep him at number two. I'll keep Boyd there as our number one option. I did pick up Schwartz as our only O-line that I picked up as, out of all of them. CJ is probably going to stay our tight end. Moving on to defense, it's obviously going to be Jesse Bates. I did pick up Ruben Foster. Oh, one guy I also picked up on offense is Josh Dawson. Picked up another receiver just in case. I think we're definitely going to be looking at another backup running back. Yeah, so we'll definitely look more at that running back situation. Linebackers, though, I'm pretty happy with Ruben Foster being the uh, middle front there. I think he'll be a great, you know, asset. Vontez Perfect, I actually picked him up out of the free agency. Get him back on the Bengals. Mike Hilton, uh, I think we're going to get a pretty good win. Trey Waynes. So, I think we'll be pretty, you know decent this year. I don't expect us to make playoffs or anything with Ravens and Pittsburgh in our division, but just kind of the special teams. Third down running back, power running back. It looks like just Mixon's going to be the main guy for this team. But I quickly want to go look at running backs here. Just to see what we can kind of pick up here. I don't want anybody over Mixon. Duke Johnson wouldn't be a bad pickup. Powell also wouldn't be the worst pickup. Smallwood is definitely a great pickup too. Hmm. You know what? I think we're actually gonna go. Oh, there's Brace Love too, actually. Alex Collins. Or do I want to just go to a power kind of back? Oh, there's John Kelly. But, I don't know, that speed's kind of low there. I'm thinking a Wendell Smallwood might be a pretty decent, or Powell. Hmm. They both fit the scheme. What about a Duke Johnson? You know what? Let's go ahead and get Duke Johnson on board. I think he's going to be a decent fit for us. And so, Brandon Allen. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. Playing pretty darn great. Burrow only has an interception. Brandon's been sacked four times. As long as there's a 22, though. Hmm. He's got a 100 rating. Wow, Joe Mixon. Already going off. Duke Johnson's what I like to see. Oh, Perrine is getting less playing time than Travian. Touchdowns. It looks like it's all been Duke. Chase is definitely getting a good amount of reps. Audit Tate. CJ. Drew. I think we're getting a pretty good amount here. Who's getting their touchdowns in? So Sample's getting a little bit here. Any drop passes is what I want to know about. Oh, can we not find it here? Oh, I guess we got to look into another one. Whoops. Blocking. Can we not see, like, sacks allowed? Oh, right here. Okay, so Riley, Riley, it's our starter too, right? So, 
Michael Jordan, it's a good name. Lamont, Jackson, and Mitchell also allowed one. So, and downs played. So let's go look at all these downs played. So out of 122, wow. First of all, Billy has not allowed up a sack. Right guard, okay. Good for you, Billy. Also, Quinton, Spain, also hasn't allowed up a sack. 180. Eight downs played. Pretty impressive. I'll keep that in mind. 116 just a one sack. 116 just a one sack as well. So it looks like they're holding up for the QB. So we're going to look at tackles here just to kind of. Carter Allen, Logan. Okay. And the interception department. Just the two out of the three preseason games so far pressure here. DJ Reader. Larry's there. Akeem. Trey. Mike. Yeah, yeah we got a little bit of mix everywhere. Uh, okay, let's find this out. Catches allowed now. This is what I want to know. Mike Hilton, he's our starting. He's allowing the most, though. Seven catches allowed. Next is our middle linebacker. So, he would most likely be covering a tight end. So, we're allowing... Quite a few catches to tight ends. Darius Phillips is allowing four as well. Jesse Bates is allowing four. Eli Apple. Von Bell. Ricardo Allen. Brandon Wilson's allowing three. And this catches allowed. Yeah, that was just catches allowed. How many deflections can we see here? Logan popping down. So they actually targeted him six times at least. And he's batted down too. Kavon Frazier. Man's not a, man's two for two, fifty percent. Pass deflection. So Mike Hilton's struggling here. Seven catches allowed. Only one deflection. Same thing with Darius Phillips. Not doing too hot. One pass deflection. Four allowed. Eli Apple, one for four. Akeem, one for one. Jesse Bates, not touching the ball. Defensive touch. I'm curious if we have any defensive touchdowns. No. And games played, they've all played that. Downs played. So let's see from the most downs. 194. So 194 downs. Eli Apple's doing decent work here. Actually, Logan Wilson's pretty good, too. I have to look at that. 152. He's only allowed four catches. Mike Hilton's getting targeted a lot. And he's been playing a lot. That's the thing, too. Uh, how, did, how did Larry... I guess he dropped back in zone. And Brandon Wilson's allowed three grabs on him. Kicking, are we doing pretty good? Figgles made up to 39 yards. He's three. Figgles attempted three for three. He hasn't made a 40. He's made 150 yard kickoffs, nine touchbacks, three. Downs played 24. Okay, it looks like we got a pretty solid kicker. Punting, on the other hand, punted four. Wow. Averaging 55 yards a punt. Hasn't been blocked inside the 23 times. Touchbacks on punts, five, okay. That's that's a good average. He's in the positive. Longest punt, 66. Nice. Kick returner, oh, it is Darius Phillips, so we gotta keep that in mind when we're making our cuts here. If we wanna keep him there. So that's the stats throughout much of the preseason so for the cuts wise, easily see how many here are some recommendations to get you started Clark Harris I didn't see anything of you I think we can successfully make this cut again Sutherland I haven't seen any potential 55 overall I don't need three centers on the roster Fred Johnson I too low of an overall I can't work with that almost a 60 I think I can agree. We have, if it says we have plenty of depth, I'm okay cutting him. 
Uh, tight ends. I just want to quickly see how much we have on the roster. Four. Okay. No, I'm good with cutting Mason here and just keeping it down to the four. Right deck. We have plenty at this position. He's a 60 overall. I'm okay cutting him. DBs. Let's go see how many DBs we have because we will be missing some. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We will. Mm, this is. You know what? He's only going to be missing a few weeks. I'm going to move Davis to the practice squad for now. And if anything, we can bring him up. Uh, it doesn't meet our standards. He's a 62 overall. I think I'm comfortable with cutting him. Josh here, defensive tackle. It says we still have plenty at the position. I'm cool with that. Bledsoe, 65 overall. He's very young. His power moves, though. I'm, I'm going to cut that. An 84 strength defensive tackle. We're cutting a lot of defensive tackles. Let's go see how much we have on the roster. Two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, we can definitely cut one more. Keep just the uh, the four going. All right, so let's keep it to the recommended for now. Mike Thomas. We have plenty at this position. Stanley Morgan, I saw. We have plenty at this position. I'm definitely cutting Mike Thomas. Uh, wait, what? Why is there two Stanley Morgans? Uh, I'm going to move him to practice. That was weird. I'm going to move him to practice squad. I think we're going to keep with all these guys here. So Josh Docks and are picked up. I'm not going to cut him. I'm going to keep him as our last asset at receiver. Cameron Sample. Right end. Uh, we have pled doesn't meet our standards. I think we're okay then if we're not. I'm going to keep Williams. Again, with the two. I'm going to keep Vontez, Mike Daniels. I'm not going to cut any of those. I don't think so. Quarterbacks, keeping those guys. So I got four running backs on the squad. I usually like to rock with four. If anything, we'll kind of look back. But I'm kind of liking... Mm, you know what? We'll come back to that. Fullback, we're good with. The receivers we have, we're pretty locked in with them. I like the three tight ends. Linemen, oh, man, everybody's such a low overall. Michael Jordan, we're going to keep on the squad. We have three more people to cut, hey? We're going to keep both of those. Billy Price, we're definitely quitting Spain. Both of those guys were highlights. I like them both. I'm keeping them. Jackson Carmen. We have plenty of depth at this position. Maybe we can try to trade Riley. Because Mitchell's the same age. Ten times overall is better. Jackson is super young, and that's probably going to be our right tackle of the future. So let's see at end here. Khaled. Mm. Don't recommend cutting this player, but I'll come back to that. Uh, Joseph. Power moves are really weak, but the speed 84. That's nice. Do you like speed out there? Defensive tackles. They want to cut Mike Daniels. Age 31. I actually like having four defensive tackles, though. Left. I like having two. Both those guys seem pretty decent. Hmm. Eighty-seven speed. I actually think Bontez isn't going to make this squad. 
I don't see him playing over Logan Wilson. I think I'm going to stay with Ruben and Logan. And Jermaine's going to kind of be the backup with that 87 speed. So, you know what? We are going to just cut him. So two more cuts to make. Akeem's going to be our main guy. Marcus Bailey can also kind of be an 88 speed. Oh, my God. DBs. So we're still missing one there. Got to remember that. Brandon Wilson. 92 speed. I'm going to keep an eye on him. I don't know. Because then I don't want to be short on DBs. Wow, Jesse Bates is so young. Um, strong safeties. Kavon Frazier was a really good uh, preseason, what I saw. We do have three, though. So you know what I'm going to do? Free safety, Brandon Wilson. You're going to get cut. Because Kavon Frazier can go move over to the other side. One more player to cut. I do like Travian. Mike Daniels, hey. You know, I do have plenty of depth. Riley, it would save up a lot of cap space. Sorry, Riley. I'm actually going to cut you instead. Perfect. And let's sim this preseason game. We have all the cuts we need. Start the regular season by selecting your season goal. Okay, well, let's go look at our... Actually, our schedule should stay in there. Meeting your season goal comes with higher rewards, but so also... Chargers, Browns, Eagles, Jaguars. Go back. Oh, I can't. Eagles, Jaguars, Ravens, Colts, Browns. So the first half of the season, pretty tough. The second half looks actually kind of easier. So I see us going like three wins. We'll uh, go back to the other page there. So I could see us beating the Eagles, Jaguars. Mm. Could start two for six. And then this half, I kind of see us beating the Steelers once at least. Yeah, you know what? I think we beat the Steelers. I think we beat the Giants, Dolphins. So what am I at? Five wins? Uh, and Texans. Ooh, get seven wins. That's aggressive. I'm going to say four. Very low, but you know what? Don't have a strong team exactly this year. Yeah, I'm saying about that five to six wins this season. Joey Bosa this week. I think we're going to commit to slowing him the hell down. I really want to neutralize them. You know what? Let's try saying to us that we really want to get them out of the game. Zone runs. Yeah. Uh, BJ Bosa's Chargers gain 500 team. Give. Are you. Make it a little possible at least. Now let's take a minute to Injury. see how you can improve your team. Oh, this is rough. So our backup running back now is going to be out for a few weeks. Ooh, not starting off good for these injuries. Lions signed Rashad Bateman. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking with the uh, my roster, just with trading block and everything, and then we'll pop right on to that next game or see what else we need to do. All right, so we're getting ready to pop into this game. Going, going up against Justin Herbert and his Chargers. We're missing our backup running back and our third string slash first string DB because he was probably going to play at the number one spot while Mike Hilton plays in the slot. Uh, let's 
see what uniforms we're rocking with for our first game of the season. What do our color rush look like? Oh. I think we'll just kind of keep. So this is a home opener. And we are playing against the Chargers. Ah. So. I'll kind of mute myself during the game. I think I'm going to be skipping majority of the game. So I'll kind of let you, you know, enjoy the game sound. And we'll see after the game stats and everything. So enjoy this home opener. Today, from Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, it's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. see Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals taking on Justin Herbert and the LA Chargers from the banks of the Ohio River there's a look at Paul Brown Stadium here in Cincinnati Ohio this crowd loves their orange and black the scene just a short time ago they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room we're ready for football as the Bengals get set to do battle with the Los Angeles Chargers With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. Had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Time for a much needed and much welcome diversion. The NFL is back. Here we go, week one. Fielded in the end zone. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So here we go, week one for the L.A. Chargers. It's not, as we thought in the offseason, Tyrod Taylor under center. It will be instead the sixth overall pick from April, Justin Herbert. On first down, Justin Herbert. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Incomplete. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Back to the air. Herbert on second down. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. Complete to Austin Eckler. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job is simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. He's airing it out for Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. So here we go with a new era in week one. Did nobody surprise the starting quarterback for Cincinnati in this 2020 opener? Is the number one overall pick out of LSU. That, of course, Joe Burrow. Zero shock here. In fact, it would have been a surprise if anyone other than Joe Burrow tried it out here to be the starting quarterback for Cincinnati. From the time they called his name at the NFL draft, he was their starting quarterback. Replacing Andy Dalton after a long run here in Cincy, Joe Burrow, the face of the franchise. Guys, their future is now. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Burrow's pass. 
So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down, Chargers. <laughs> Running on first down, Eckler. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the 32-yard line. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. A pair of first downs gives him a first and ten up at the 44. First down, Chargers. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Herbert. He'll find Williams on the slant. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 34-yard line. A charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. And I watched Mike Williams play receiver at Clemson. One of the things I was drawn to his toughness. This is a guy who took some big time hits out in the field as the number one receiver and kept finding ways to make plays. And finally it's paid off for him because in 2019, he had his first 1,000 yard season in the NFL and averaged over 20 yards per catch. A good run there on first down and it'll leave him with a second and two. Jesse Bates. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second. From the shotgun. Here's Herbert. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Second and goal from the one. Brings up second and goal. They'll try the ground game with Jackson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Logan Wilson on the tackle. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one of it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating, will we have to make the call? They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bengals take over first and 10. At the Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and 10. And that'll be incomplete. For Joe Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. It's now second and 10 at the 30-yard line. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Brings up third and three. A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And he's got a Bengals first down. His good running gets him to about the 44. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And a good pickup there by Mixon, and that shows the talent that he has. Back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons, fourth in the NFL in 2018, ninth last year. But I look for those numbers to jump back up again with the introduction of new talent in Cincinnati.
defense. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here as they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. The reception good for seven. It's third down. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and five. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Now it's Burrow. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he's taken down inside the 30. Joe. Ten more there and another first down. Ten more yards. That's another Bengals first down. And Burrow going to throw again. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. That's and they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Mixon with a first down carry. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Justin, five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. A gain of a yard on the play. Brings up third and four. Now it's Burrow. Now he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Tyler Boyd there to make the grab. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen roll. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Extra point by Seibert up and good. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And we are tied at seven. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. At their own 29-yard line. And we remind you, lots more to come here this opening weekend of the return to football 2020. Coming up later tonight, it's the national debut of SoFi Stadium in Southern California. The Cowboys and the Rams doing battle there. And then two more to finish off the week on Monday Night Football. The Steelers and Giants from MetLife Stadium and the Titans and Broncos from Mile High. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Charger first. First down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. The drive keeps moving. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A nine-yard pickup, just one yard away from three consecutive first down plays. And he gets it down to the 32. Austin Eckler, the ball. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. And with a dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That's allowed them to disrupt the play. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And it's third down. And that'll bring up fourth down as his Cincy defense stands up on third. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. 
maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. First and 10. At their own. The Bengals drive about to get going. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Now Burrow loses the football. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. On third down, Burrow. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Burrow hooking up with Higgins for a Bengal first down. Bengals. That's taken in by Higgins. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. There's a short one caught by Uzama. Last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. This pass complete to Higgins. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Throw left side complete. It's Boyd. Then he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. To the air again, Burrow. He finds his running back, Mixon. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the 5 at the 6. It's a gain of 5. And it'll be a second down. At the six. Again, it's Burrow. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Joe Mixon there to make the grab. And the Bengals are going to jump back in front. Austin Seibert on for the point after. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Pulls it in at the 13. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my... Herbert has it knocked free. And the Bengals grab it. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Ball on the play. Recovered by the Bengals. First and 10, Joe Burrow. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. Seibert's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. 
So, all right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. But we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. It's a first down on a gain of 10. That's the 37-yard line. Burrow looking to pass. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Uchenna and Wosu got the sack there. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. This is Mixon on the draw. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Just a yard on the gain there, and that leaves him with 14 yards still to go on third down. Gain of a yard makes it third and 14. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He'll drop this one down to mix it. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. They'll start with the option. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big... The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Ruben Foster picks it. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. When the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass, that's one you put in the trophy case. First career interception, that's going to be one he wants to forget. Yeah, and he's not going to go ask for the football, right? Yeah, yeah, you can keep that one. The key for him, what does he learn from it? When he watches the tape, does he have an answer right now where he already understands what mistake he made? That's what the coaches are going to want to know, and that's what they'll grill him on and see how he grows from it. They'll try to get the run game going. This is Mixon. And he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11. On second down, Burrow. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Now Burrow. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. Seibert able to knock this one through. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20-10. to 10. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. And he won't quite make it to the 25. At their own. The Charger drive about to get going. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Jared Cook, his Pro Bowl tight end, was the target. That'll bring up second down. Second down and 10. Throwing again. Herbert. For the sideline, that's taken in by Allen. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. First down. On the carry, it's Jackson. 
And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup. They run again with Jackson. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Jackson. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. He's brought down at the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Give him two yards on that play, and the Chargers are going to get themselves a fresh set of downs here. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. We are through three quarters here on NFL kickoff weekend. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. That catch good for only a couple. Brings up second and goal at the two yard. On second down, this is Jackson. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers have made this a one-score game. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite but the blocks were made up front. Offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. And out now, here come the Bengals. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, Jesus, second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This to me, he's got to take over right now. By word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now, Bengals on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and four. Burrow throw. And that is incomplete. Here's Kevin Huber now. As he's on to punt for Cincinnati. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Oh, what a move. 43 yards on the punt, return of four, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Chargers offense back onto the field, and you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. But once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Makes it second and ten at the 20. A big spot for the rookie Herbert. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six from Bengals TD. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. 
And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At the 23-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Out of the gun, Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Herbert, a gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener, and it's a first down. Again, Herbert. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Incomplete. It leads to second and 10. Back to the air. Herbert on second down. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Herbert's pass. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. And here's a throw taken in by Boyd. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the play. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Jet sweep, Boyd with it. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. He's credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. One-yard gain brings up second and nine. At the 40. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow able to find Higgins. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Burrow on third down. He's got his man, Boyd. Tyler Boyd. That's good. So first and 10 now from the 30. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Second and two. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Mixon trying to punch it in. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. It's now third and goal. 
Third and goal. Burrow. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Derwin James with a pick. Well, in all likelihood, this ball game still over. I mean, even with the interception, two-score game, they need a miracle. Curious decision to even throw the ball in that situation, but maybe they saw a stacked line of scrimmage and said, hey, it's better to try and throw than to try and run against it. In any event, I think you're exactly right. Now, the other team can pad their stats, but I don't think they're going to win. Yeah, but still, don't change the channel just yet. Incomplete. Brings up second and ten at the Now Herbert. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Herbert's pass. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A gain there of 30 big ones. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Larry Ogunjobi in there to make the sack on what will be the final act in this ball game. I know there will be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.